Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishwas. I welcome you all in my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecules. So today I shall discuss a selective but interesting topic that is acid, um, sorry, uh, the advantage of tertiary butyl ester. Okay, so what is advantage of this tertiary butyl group compared to simple like methyl or ethyl group? Okay. So this thing we will discuss along with mechanism and today's topic is taken apart from book these two references. Sorry, this should not be later. So this, these two references. So please visit if you want to learn more about this. Okay. So today's discussion will cover few points why this is important and answer is because of two reasons. So this is topic is interesting. So, a lot of chemistry to be discussed. So, let's start. See, this uh, discussion is important from two points. What? Means advantage of this process. One is hydrolysis. Means actually, actually better to say this is important because of its unique hydrolysis pattern. One means hydrolysis. one is in presence of anhydrous acid and uh, second not hydrolysis means better to say ester ester d protection this word will be more appropriate. Okay. In presence of anhydrous acid or second thermal. Thermal condition. Okay. So these two things we are going to discuss. So before going to today's discussion, let's let's point out one interesting point. Generally, we are discussing how what is the advantage of tertiary butyl ester. Question how this is prepared? Such tertiary butyl esters are prepared from means one could be corresponding tertiary butyl alcohol plus acid. This in presence of catalytic amount means in presence of constant catalytic amount of concentrated acid like sulfuric acid. But see, in this process, one molecule of water need to be need to be eliminated and we know this water create lots of problem for this esterification reaction I'm going to remove by using some special setup those doses etc problem another which is more interesting you that is you can take acid plus corresponding alkene okay so this alkene and in presence of sulfuric catalytic amount of sulfuric, but not to say catalytic amount of this is concentrated sulfuric acid. What it does first, this part point is protonated to prepare this carbocation. We know this tertiary carbocations are very much stable, very much stable 0.9 hyperconjugation. The reason is 9 hyperconjugation and 3 plus i effect okay now question means they two are not same hyperconjugation operates through the hydrogens okay means it is not the sigma bond involved some pi type bond is involved okay and in case of plus i effect occurs through the sigma bond okay so there is a difference please don't make get confused so this is a strategy number one and what is the another uh, strategy? Another strategy is that you can take this and you can take, you, for example, you can take the silver salt of carboxylic acid. Okay. And you can take corresponding iodide of this tertiary, means tertiary butyl iodide. And generally how this is often if you treat tertiary butyl alcohol with HI, this is got. So this is little complicated. So instead of that, this is far more better method to get the tertiary butyl ester. Okay. So in this way, this tertiary butyl ester could be prepared. Now, 
So after this is prepared like other ester and means purified, separated. Now question: What is the advantage in organic chemistry? First of all, in present, let's discuss uh, this point in presence of acid. Okay. See, tertiary butyl unique thing is that it can result in the production of tertiary butyl carbocation. Means if you hydrolyze this thing, means if you break. A breakage is from this bond. Better to say, this bond is getting broken. Why? Because corresponding carbocation is stable. And if you think that O minus that is also stable, actually O minus does not produces. It produces OH. Okay. That is the reason for its easy hydrolysis. And actually, if I put the mechanism, if you take anhydrous strong acid, like considered sulfuric acid, you can take so whatever H plus anhydrous. Then what it does? First of all, it protonates. So first step. This is getting protonated. Okay. Now question. Which proton will be protonated? This proton will be protonated. Okay. I, why? Because if you check the canonical form of carboxylic ester means. And if you draw the canonical form that is. R C O O minus double bond O R prime hydrogen plus charge. So this clearly explains why the this oxygen. Okay. So this si oxygen is protonated. Fine. So after protonation means what it will result. So this now after protonation similarly it will have a chemical form another that is R C O H. Actually. Better to say not H plus this contains the plus charge. So right now it is neutral. So this oxygen, this okay. I guess you have understood this. So now see this oxygen is became electron deficient and it is attached to a tertiary butyl group. And this is the advantage of this process. How see in this kind of condition it can break. And it can leave because the leaving group is neutral. So this is R C double bond O O H. This is one of the very foremost criteria for this. And if you have any confusion in understanding, please visit. I have made the nature of leaving group in nucleophilic substitution reaction or lecture that will clear your doubts. So this is so what it will result this corresponding acid and this tertiary carbocation. And we know this is very stable as I explained. That nine hyper conjugation and plus I effect of three car methyl group stabilizes. And actually, I have already uploaded a lecture where I have explained that this tertiary carbocation is more stable than phenyl, benzyl, better to say benzyl. And it, I have showed the proof that you can imagine that benzyl is stabilized by plus R effect. This, this is its stabilization is more than plus R. So that makes this thing unique. Okay. So this in this way, anhydrous acid hydrolyzes this, and we can get back the corresponding carboxylic acid. Now I will give you a few examples. Okay. Look at this reaction. So this is actually two types of ester functionalities are present. One is ethyl ester and one is tertiary butyl ester. Okay. So, in presence of paratoluene sulfonic acid, benzene, this is actually an anhydrous condition. Okay. So, under refluxing condition, what it result? Eastern hydrolysis will occur. Which one? This one or this one? Actually, this one. What I have explained, this is the proof of this concept. So, this is CO2 ET and see this is an e plus carbon dioxide plus why carbon dioxide? See, at the first stage after hydrolysis, what it will result? It will result this acid. And see, this is actually a beta keto acid. Okay? So it undergoes facile decarboxylation and this. Now you may think that, sir, 
why reaction stop means what is the sub logic i want to give that this reaction stops at this stage you may think that first time if you don't take this and think that okay beta keto acid easily decarboxylated but why reaction stopped here why it could have been further hydrolyzed and ultimately it could have been resulting this but it didn't why because anhydrous condition normal carboxylic acid can't what this thing can do okay so that is the first of all uniqueness of this and second that if you think if you take the this is the anhydrous version okay now if you think the how if you take water means aqueous acid or better to say dilute acid what will be the what will be the uh, mechanism for this process better to say h3o plus then what then similar way here protonation then you can consider that this protonation fine now similar way it will break and ultimately result in this cation proof of this concept instead of this if you take if you take h plus in d2 okay very catalytic amount of acid or you can take d plus also for your better clarity but it is better to choose h plus sorry h plus in d2o logical so uh, what it will result it will result this this h plus will be attached to carboxylic acid and actually it results in this plus this is produced which ultimately quenched by the d2o and ultimately result in o2 okay so this is the proof even not only that let's make the picture little easier let's take h plus and h2o having oxygen 18 level then what level resides then level resides here this is o18 so this is the proof this is so in this way you can, you can detect how the mechanism is happening so first point is in presence of anhydrous acid this hydrolysis happens very easily now let's come to the second point so second point is thermal see this is a ch3 so we can consider this versus this so what can happen in this case a six member cyclic ts formation is possible what do i mean by that you know many times because decarboxylation of beta ketone acid that's a six member cyclic transition state so remember it will help you so this abstract this proton it comes here it goes there so what is the product here i'm writing just exactly the same thing this double bond plus ch2 this ch3 ch3 so thermal so this is heat mediated six member cyclic ts question why it is facile because this decarboxylation is very easy because of this tertiary butyl group and second this alkene is produced which goes out in the reaction medium that's why the reaction happened very easy although other esters like ethyl methyl they cannot do this job okay so now question we have understood that it decarboxylates very easily and it could be prepared also easily question what is its application since this is a very advantageous or unique property how this could be utilized for example this property could be utilized in peptide protection what do i mean by that i mean that the for example if you take an amino acid this is this is r this is acid oh so you want to functionalize on the amine side then you need to block the carboxylic acid and that thing you can do easily using this tertiary butyl ester and this tertiary butyl ester provides another importance that you can store this amine without any salt formation you can directly store because if you want to do any reaction ultimately 
that salt need to be deprotected, any stone need to be generated, then the reaction could be carried out. That is not essential. So you can store this. And second thing, you can hydrolyze it under mild condition. Why this is important? See, this is the asymmetric center of the atom. Okay. Sorry, I made mistake. No, 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 I made mistake. Not this. The, this is the R, this is the NH2, and this is the hydrogen. So, this is the asymmetric center. See, and this is alpha to keto, means carbonyl. So, there is a chance of racemization, and under strongly acidic condition or strongly alkaline condition, these racemization, racemization at this center may occur. And you know, one amino, means amino acid is one isomer. May be helpful, other may be lethal. There are many evidence of that. Means peptide. Means so, it is essential when we carry out any kind of reaction. We must be careful about the stereochemistry at this center. Means is retention happening or inversion is happening or racemic mixture produces. And racemic mixture is the most difficult thing to deal with. So, this case it is helpful because under milder acidic condition you can deprotect. Okay, so this is the advantage or you may consider this is the application of this process. And another thing, thermal thing could be done, but generally solution phase chemistry don't favor thermal in terms of anhydrous acid like that. You may consider that this is a TFN, can perform this job very easily. Okay, so this is our overall discussion, so what you have learned today? We have learned today that this tertiary butyl esters are very good protection for carboxylic ester and its deprotection is easy because when something is useful for protection means you can prepare it easily, you can remove it easily. Both things could be done using this tertiary butyl esters and how this deprotection done in presence of anhydrous acid which provides the specificity of this tertiary butyl cleavage compared to other and another thing thermal process, how thermal mediated this uh, ester hydrolysis heat mediated occurs by a six member cyclic transition state and third we have discussed proof of this hydrolysis that is uh, oxygen 18 measurement okay so this is the end of this discussion thank you for watching if you really like my teaching i request you please help my channel to grow first of all subscribe my channel comes to the mystery of molecule and please press the bell icon to get the notification of every single video i upload secondly share this video like this video and make some good comments to motivate you so thank you again, see you in my next video.